Hello and welcome to an old favorite, which is the Endless Endurance Race at Silverstone Grand Prix Circuit. This is the 2023 Formula One Red Bull car. I'm fully upgraded. This is in the Invitational Series. Do you have to be fully upgraded? No, you could do this in the Championship Series, missing an upgrade or two, but don't waste your time there. It pays a lot less fame. Like this pays like 3.3 or 3.4 times more fame. Like times more fame, not plus. So really it's not just not worth your time in the Champion Series. Do it here. Now, off track cuts. If you're not familiar with this, this is a necessity for the majority of endless endurance racing because you need to pass 42 cars before that timer runs out. If you don't, then you're just gonna run out of time like you've experienced 100 times. Oh my goodness, whoa! Why are they breaking so much? Well, because it's lap one and Bob's drive horrible for lap one, not so good for lap two. Uh, but you watch later on, they will be faster than a fully upgraded car. All right, secret is 42 cars. That will trigger this, you will see that. So that's why I've got to take some off track cuts to pass that many cars as fast as possible. And also because the cars are faster than a fully upgraded car once you hit the perpetual point, meaning the point you can go on perpetually, which means forever. So some of these cars, quite a difference in handling. Woo, I wasn't expecting that. Now this car handles a little bit different than any other season of Formula One. And I'll talk about that in a bit. But right now we're seeing the action. You really gotta watch out for the ghosts, the disappearing cars. Thankfully at this track, you don't really experience kamikaze ghosts, which is when you pass a car when he's on the brakes, sometimes he gets off the brakes and he'll just totally smash you out of his way. Don't really experience that at this track, not really a place for that. Uh, cops corner, full throttle. Ooh, three cars dancing around. Let's just get by all these guys fast. And uh, Maggots, that's the name of this corner. Beckett's Complex is this section, and then Chapel Curve. And that's an awesome section. Here we have another gaggle of bots. Get some slipstreaming in, very nice. Hit some pretty high speeds. This is called Stowe. I had to take it quite poorly because of the bot traffic, but pretty soon it starts to settle down. After a while, you only see one type of car, and that would be the car that Real Racing 3 considers to have the highest PR. Even though there's three cars that are tied, the Mercedes, the Red Bull, and the Ferrari. However, it's quite possible that PR levels have more decimal places than we're allowed to see. And sometimes you see this when you're buying upgrades and the rounding doesn't go the way you expect it to. That makes me think that there's actually extra digits and that they've just rounded to the first decimal place. Okay, so you've noticed there that I've got to come out of that corner pretty fast. I'm off track. I'm able to keep it full throttle through that big cut I just took there. Uh, cops corner, it's really easy to take it full throttle. You just gotta start your corner early enough and then it's not difficult. I'll still be catching the guy, these guys pretty easily. So like he's just in the perfectly wrong spot for that corner. So that's gonna affect my speed going down here. You'll notice it that, oh yeah, look at that. My speed's way lower than it has been. Well, maybe not way lower, but barely into the 360, 363, that's pretty low because my exit was so bad there. I couldn't do anything about it. And whoa, that was really close to hitting that little barrier. Barriers here are a rock solid. Lap four. Already, look at this. Cars are getting spread out quite a lot. There's not a lot of cars out here now. In fact, where are the cars? My timer's at 81. I didn't pass anybody. So that's the only car I've seen so far this lap. Look at my timer, 72. Do I pass them when I'm off track? No, I do not. He is the lone car of this lap. Wow. So he might be the 41st of the 42nd car. We're gonna know that very soon. What happens as I go through Cops? Uh, that's pretty, pretty equal. What happens as I go through Beckett's Complex? That's this middle section here. Oh, look at me gain, look at me gain. That is not a 42nd place car. Or if it is, maybe, oh, you know what? 42 would be the last car before the perpetual point. He could be, he could be, because look at this gap. One car, the entire lap, I'm finally going to pass him. Ooh, and I didn't, I have to go this a little bit crazier. Look at that, up ahead of me, that's the perpetual point. That's a lap early than usual for me. I was running fast, baby. Okay, so now I've gotta be careful. So I'm gonna take this cut, and I gotta be very careful how I get back on track. I do not wanna get T-boned. See that, I really overbraked but you've got to be so careful taking that left because the bots are going to be taking it really tight. 
and you can end up getting in a horrible accident. I lost a few of these races there. Ooh, that's been, so this has been taking me a while. Now, what do I find different about these cars? Okay, so the 2023 cars, they have tweaked how downforce works, and I really like this. So this car is better at higher speeds and worse at lower speeds. By lower, I mean quite low and off track. Uh, but actually, oh, nuts, oh boy. I really wrecked my race line. So I'm noticing when I'm off track I, that this car, re, it's funny. It both handles better and worse. In a straight line, it handles better. But as I get slower, it handles worse. So the, what, it may sound crazy that I like that. What I like about that is it goes in the face of the accusation of carbon copy, that they just copy every single year right over. They don't. This car, this one handles different than any other season. So this right here, I have to slow down more than usual for that corner. Usually I, I take that faster in the 2019 cars. But this big cut right here, by the way, lucky lap 13, I'll show you why in a sec here. I'm taking that cut more full throttle. It's interesting. Very rarely do I have to lift, whereas I was having to lift more often than in the, in the 2019 cars. Okay. I'm calling this Lucky Lap 13 because I have not been able to catch up and, and catch some slipstream as I'm going through Beckett's complex here. These bots are so stinking fast, so I'm trying to take this faster and faster. And there we go. First time I actually caught some slipstream going through this series of S's there. I'm pretty happy about that. And Stowe, oh my, you see that? I was hitting 375. I might be breaking more than I have to for Stowe. However, I'm terrified of going off track at Stowe. You lose so much time, but in a time trial competition, I will be pushing that. I have a feeling it's going to be faster to do a very slight lift and just try to and just plow through stove. We'll see. Then you then you have to adjust your uh, your breaking points for the last chicane. All right. So we've already warped ahead once, and lucky lap 13 was good for me. So we are here. Woo! See if I can catch these guys again. It's so why do I do this? Because it's challenging. You actually give up. By the time I'm done this race, I will have given up slightly more than two full laps to off-track driving. But I just get oh I did it again. Okay, well let's warp ahead. Let's warp ahead. I find the regular cup races so boring. Like the challenge in the regular cup race, okay, let the whole field lap you. Okay, well, in 20 laps, it's easy to unlap yourself. Or you could lap the whole field a couple of times sometimes. Well, maybe not two times, but definitely once. It's not hard at all. Once and a half, probably, one and a half times. So big mistake, but you know, I'm still recovering pretty good, and you're going to see this, that it's still, I'm still filling, out, filling up my timer. Now, I'm being a little bit aggressive, but heavy on the brakes watching this, because that's where I really, oh, see, there was a bot right on my tail there. Got to be careful. And then take that sharp left. Sharp left while I'm on track, and then I lighten up as soon as I get off track. And watch that steering. Okay, ooh, nice slipstream on this guy. Take this into Cops Corner. So with that slipstream, I'm heading into Cops even faster. In certain Formula One cars, I would have just wrecked. If you catch slipstream heading into Cops in certain, certain Formula One cars, certain seasons, you can't take it. Look at this, Gaines. Oh, is that ever beautiful? Okay, with a toe like this, will I get 376? Mm, nope. Oh, and I blew it again. Oh, come on. I was watching my speed too much. Blew it. Nuts. Okay. We're going to go a warp ahead a little bit more here to lap number 23. So 13 was lucky. Maybe we'll see if lap 23 is also lucky for me. So yes, it, it is probably faster to do this other ways, but if you're doing this, if you're bored for, for uh, your farming, this is a good option. It's very challenging. And also, sometimes even on bonus fame days, our lower ones, I've done this. Now you gotta be careful here. Oh, that was a ghost. Oh, I was trying to catch Slipstream. I totally forgot that he could be a ghost. Okay, well, let's do a virtual hit. There we go. Doesn't actually do anything. Doesn't. Have, I'm just doing this for kicks. I'm probably damaged. So I just thought I'd do a virtual pit. Now that wasn't high speed. You know what? Next lap, let's try this again. But I'm going to try it at full speed. See if I can pull off that virtual pit without 
losing traction and without going off track at all. That is tricky. So there we go, guys. You can see this is possible. Still going, 122. How possible is this with that damage? Ooh, 60. I'm down about 10 seconds. That's just because of that incident. I lost my forward momentum. But let's see here. And, oh yeah, I still filled up the timer. Nice. By the way, there used to be a glitch. Uh, old timers will remember this. Used to be a glitch at that corner. You passed more than four cars. So five or more cars when you're off track. I'm watching you, Ghosty. You pass five or more cars, game would crash. More on that in just a bit here. Okay, let's do this again. Watch, I'm going to the far left. And then really crank it. Check it out, check it out. No red. No off track at all. Isn't that awesome? So yes, there used to be a glitch that five seconds after you passed five or more cars while off track, the game would just crash. I'm convinced the game believed, got confused, and the game thought we were a disappearing car, and that's why it crashed the game exactly five seconds after, because that's how long it takes a car to disappear. Now, to the best of my knowledge, they did not intentionally fix this. Just like this unintentional glitches, like we're experiencing a few right now, this was an unintentional fix. So I'm glad it goes both ways. Okay, we're gonna freeze frame at 134. I think 133.7 would be enough, but I don't want to go this far and not fill my distance. So I'm going over for a bit. Driving backwards gives back some. Actual race time is 27 minutes, 33 seconds, which means I was earning 1,578 fame per minute. That's pretty stinking good. My M dollars per minute was 9,074. So not the best way, but fun. Well, please like, please subscribe, drop me a comment, I'm interactive. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Check out some other videos. Bye-bye.